All right, so I decided to take one for the team and uh, what we're going to be doing today is not a tier list. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a tier list and then we're going to be doing some team building. Uh, you know, before we get on to everything, let me just make some clarifications. This Blue Demon Meliodas is supposed to be Assault Meliodas. It's just that there is no Assault Meliodas on the tier list because Nag has not updated it. Uh, yeah, we, uh, I do need to speak to him about that, but yeah. Obviously, the way he works, you need to have uh, commandments or demons in your front row. So, uh, you know, that's what we'll be talking about. And before we begin, do subscribe to my channel. I'm doing you guys a favor here. Instead of you watching, um, you know, a bunch of whole, like, just a lot of different videos to see team ideas. I'll just do that all for you in this one video. You can refer to this, uh, thank me later, whatever you want to say. But yeah, uh, before we do begin though, just some clarifications. I know that it's a, it's a bit difficult with Assault Meliodas dropping this early on Global because if we're being honest and clear, <clears throat> he is the most free-to-play festival unit with the most free-to-play festival unit team. His banner in terms of value is like none other. He has every coin shop commandment on his banner except for Red Melascular if I'm if I recall correctly. So his banner is incredibly worth your gems. You know, anything you pull for the most part is going to be worth quite a lot. And um, I don't know if that's going to be enough to persuade people to summon for him because realistically, worst case scenario, if you have to go 900 gems to get your Assault Meliodas, and then the one Eskinor drops in March, or hell, at this point, he might even drop before March, although I doubt it. I don't think people are going to have 1,800 gems between late January to early March. I might be wrong. I'm not, the, I'm not like a math genius when it comes to, you know, all of the uh, <clears throat> like saving gems and stuff. But uh, consider this, right? If you have decided that you want to pull for Assault Meliodas because you can build an entire team just off his banner, which is, you know, really good. Uh, the one Eskinor, his teams require like, obviously Liz, most people probably have her, right? If you don't have her, you must be doing something wrong. The one Eskinor, he's mainly run with um, Liz and Green Gotha. Green Gotha is exclusive. You've had two opportunities to get him. If you didn't get him, uh, you know, it might be a bit difficult for you. Liz, she's been back uh, once, but she was on her first panel. So, you know, do you have the resources for that team? I don't know, but all I'm trying to say is Assault Meliodas is a very, very, very free-to-play uh, friendly character. Even his team has absolutely no problems going second. In fact, with Assault Meliodas teams, for the most part, you probably do want to go second just to force your opponent to do something because of the way he works. So, you know, let's take a look at all of the commandments. I don't know if I, commandments and demons. Obviously, you can't use um, any other Meliodas, so that's why there's no other Meliodas on this tier list. Uh, is there any other demon here that I missed out? I don't think I have. I think every demon is here, unless I'm blind. Um, yeah, I think we're good. So, let me just uh, quickly, you know take out the trash you would say uh bellion is absolute garbage he has a good ultimate but he's absolute garbage you probably don't want to run him demon hendrickson whilst he is demon he has absolutely no synergy with the team whatsoever he offers you nothing red monsby i think is very detrimental to the way you want to play your team because uh obviously you could you <laughs> You could turn off his commandment sure thing but like his skills aren't too useful i don't think and uh you know he's not gonna offer you too much i would say um red uh, green monspeed i mean if you run with melascular you could probably get his passive to proc but in the general consensus you know assault meliodas is going to be the main man on his team He's going to be the guy doing all the stuff for you. So I don't think you'd want to run the Red Mon Speed either. Um, Fraudrin. Now, I know Speedy did a video with the Blue Fraudrin and it was somewhat successful. <sighs> Could you use him? Uh, I don't know, man. If you're free to play, maybe you don't even have this Fraudrin because he was a Hawk Pass unit. So for the most part, 
I would put him in the uh, trash, in my opinion. This is mainly for free to plays. Uh, if you're a whale, you could probably just, you know, use whoever the hell you want because you're a whale. Uh, who else? <clears throat> Red Galland. Uh, I don't see much use for him either. Um, his passive doesn't even work with Assault Meliodas because Assault Meliodas is green, not red. So I do think um, the Red Galland isn't going to be too great with him. And the blue Zeldris, honestly, <clears throat> I don't think he'll be too great either because he needs to crit and you can't really run any stat boosting junk or, or on the Assault Meliodas team, so I don't think he would work too well either. Now this leaves us with uh, quite a few units. Uh, blue Melascula, let's start off with her. She is good because the way Assault Meliodas teams work is for the most part they are alt rush teams. So you will be able to quickly build up Melascula's passive to the point where you know she will be very uh, you know very uh, what's the word capable in dealing damage and keeping herself alive. Uh, of course Melascula's do have uh, the highest life steal in the game of pretty much any unit so she does have that going for her. Red Derrieri. I mean, she, she can be okay, I guess. <laughs> no more than that. Like She can be okay. I don't think she's as uh, dysfunctional as these units here. Like I said, for Arjun, I might be wrong, but if you're free to play, uh, you probably aren't going to want to use any of these units on the team. So, Red Derry, uh, she's okay, right? She's okay. Um, Galland. <laughs> Now, this this might be funny to you guys, but Galland is actually insane because even though it's going to be very rare, if your Galland taunts an opponent's Assault Meliodas, you can attack them safely without them giving you the debuffs. Because if you guys don't know, if you attack Assault Meliodas, he will debuff your entire team's defense-related stats by 15%, just like... Uh, I mean, unlike any other unit, to be fair. So, yeah, if your Galen magically taunts your opponent's Assault Meliodas, his passive will not work. Uh, they'll still get the buffs for their Assault Meliodas, but you will not be debuffed. So, just just, just for that alone, Galen is insane. Uh, also, there's some other team combinations that you can do with Droll that can actually make Galen do some decent damage. And, uh, obviously, having Coerce is, uh, you know, good in general. It just means that someone is going to have to kill your Galen first before they get to your Assault Meliodas. So... Galland is pretty insane. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my video, uh, do check it out. It's somewhere on my channel. Uh, we were pretty damn successful with Galland. Uh, actually, isn't it? Nah, I think I think we'll drop him down to good. Insane is a bit too much to say because it's mainly RNG. Uh, next up is Red Esterosa. Um, I do want to put him in insane, but at the same time, I do want to just keep him in good because you never know how the uh, how the fight is gonna go. You know. Uh, if your opponent just uh, you know just attacks you non-stop and they get like 500 debuffs on them, then sure thing you know uh, Esther Rosa is going to be fantastic for you. But um, that's not really the case. People do tend to be very gun shy when they face Assault Meliodas teams because they know if they just start attacking you, they're gonna probably die the next turn. Uh, Green Glocks. I think he'd be good, but not great. That's pretty much it. He'll be all right. He won't be too powerful. He won't be trash i think he'll be okay uh blue draw is gonna be insane very 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 good on the assault mediators team no doubt about that uh, you know the taunt to protect him <clears throat> um you know giving your opponents buffs to proc meliodas's uh rupture aoe and uh, obviously just uh giving your meliodas um more buffs to keep him you know steady and tanky really oh and meliodas has amplify as well so uh, you know the buffs uh, do help him out in doing more damage draw is like if not the best the second best partner for assault meliodas uh next up is red zeldris you pretty much have to have to use him in any assault meliodas team because it's literally just a free stat buff like if your entire team is going to be commandments and demons there's no reason not to run red zeldris in sub or maybe even in front if you do want to use him. He's fantastic, works very well. Green Droll is also insane, but for different reasons. Uh, people will tend to alt rush you when they realize that attacking you is a very bad idea. So, you know, 
that is uh, that is something to be wary of. And Droll does just say no to pretty much uh, any alt rushing for two turns. Uh, and if they want to kill your Droll, they're going to be giving you buffs and they're going to debuff themselves. And that means your Assault Meliodas is probably going to kill them next turn. So, you know, Droll is a very, very good unit in uh, keeping the deadlock, I would say. Oh, wait. I completely forgot. Fraugen is... Uh, Fraugen is trash. I, I, I can't believe I forgot that. Uh, Whale Fraugen is... Uh, yeah, no. Uh, even even though he can lock your opponent's gauge, there's literally no point. We have a unit called Droll who just does what he does, but much better. Uh, so, don't worry about that. Uh, Red Glocks can be good although it's gonna be a little RNG dependent he's probably very good in the mirror match because you can you know attack twice and then cleanse the debuffs off yourself or you can uh, use his AoE to lock your opponent's uh, level 2 or higher card so Glocks ain't too bad um, Esther Rosa I'm gonna put him in good I don't think he's insane like the units above but I do think he's good uh, you know, another taunt unit, but he actually has, um, you know, counter, so that can be good. Uh, other than that, not too much uh, for him, really. Uh, Green Derriere is absolutely insane. Uh, basically, if you are in a Assault Meliodas mirror match and you have Green Derriere and they don't, uh, you are going to guaranteed win because, of course, Green Derriere uh, does not allow your opponent to gain ultimate move gauge by moving skills. So if your opponent can't get gauged by moving skills and they don't want to attack you, what can they do? They can do absolutely nothing. So, uh, you know, Green Derriere is the perfect, uh, you know, slide in because it's going to force your opponent to attack. They can't get gauged by moving skills. They have to get gauged by using skills. If they use their skills and they attack you, you're going to get buffs for your Meliodas. Your opponent's going to get debuffed for attacking you and uh, it's just a win-win. And then finally we have uh, Red Melascula who is pretty much the best, if not second best, but I think she's the best partner for Meliodas. Basically, they can't touch a Meliodas until they've killed a Melascula. That's pretty much it. Uh, you know, she can get lots of HP back with her Sucky Sucky, but I don't think people use her for her Sucky Sucky. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. People mainly use her because she's a defense mechanism. So uh, yeah, let's get this uh, out the way. Now, let's get into some uh, some team comps, right? For me, the most devastating Assault Meliodas team that I've faced had Assault Meliodas, Green Derriere, and uh, Red Melascular. For me, this is uh, absolutely insane. You have protection for your Meliodas because you have Melascula. You have uh, ult rush protection because of your Derriere. And uh, you just pretty much dare your opponent to attack you. Like, <laughs> literally, that is what it is. Like, they have to attack you or they lose. Because unless they have a, a green Derriere of their own, they will not be able to touch you, right? The next comp. Oh, by the way, uh, you, don't, you don't run Zo, just sub for that team. Uh, you actually run uh, Green Merlin. Uh, if you guys didn't know, your sub can be whoever the hell you want. It's just, um, you know, uh, it's down to you. As, uh, just be aware that if any of your front units die and your sub, who is not a demon or commandment, comes in, uh, you will lose access to Assault Meliodas' passive, so just be very careful. Uh, next up, another very good team comp is... Uh, actually, so we have the first one, Assault Meliodas, Red Melascula, Green Derriere. Next one is literally just um, the same thing, except you have Drow, so you're going to be relying on going first, taunting with Drow to make sure your Assault Meliodas does not get touched. Um, obviously, Melascular is far better in terms of going second, but if you are a whale and you are comfortable in going first, you can run Drow instead. Uh, with uh, Green Derriere, of course, this is mainly the alt rush variants of the team. Next up, you have the... Uh, uh, I like to call this um, stare into your opponent's soul. You just uh, you just sit there and uh, see what happens. Uh, this one uh, it, it's not too fun. I would say it's actually very cancerous. It's very stally. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but you know if you do want to run it, that is uh, an option. Uh, and then next up is um, Meliodas, Drow, and Zeldris. Uh, you have Drow uh, Commandment turned on for this. Uh, this is pretty much like super controlling. 
uh, control your opponent, make sure they don't do anything, and uh, in the meantime, just allow them to attack you and uh, stuff like that. Um, next up is which? Uh, what is it again? What is it again? It's Assault Meliodas with Red Esther Rosa and uh, Red Melascula, and then you have uh, Melascula Commandment active. This is a bit of a cheesy one, uh, it's mainly just a stack debuffs on your, on your opponent. Uh, obviously, you will be getting the debuffs as well, just to kind of like trick your opponent into attacking you. Uh, but this does work uh, quite well, it's actually uh, pretty hilarious. Uh, when they get their defense down debuffs from Assault Meliodas by attacking you, and then they get Melascular Ignites on their other units, uh, your Red Esther Rosa will absolutely destroy. So, just a team idea for you, of course. Um, Another popular one that I saw pretty often on JP is, uh, you know, Esther Rosa with uh, Red Melascula. If you guys haven't noticed the trend, the trend is always going to be Assault Meliodas with with or uh, Draw. So people run either Melascula or Draw. You can run both of them, but at that point it's a little bit overkill. Uh, I would say run one or the other. If you want to run both of them, sure thing. Just be aware that you are going to have basically no damage outside of Droll's ultimate and uh, Assault Meliodas uh, skills. Uh, also, if you run this, you are probably going to lose to a green Derriere, so just be uh, just be aware of that. Um, me, personally, depending on how Global responds, I think green Derriere would be his uh, best partner. Not in terms of keeping him alive, but in terms of countering the meta because uh, right now global meta is just um you know if it's not liz lv which uh, by the way um if you run liz lv you will auto lose to any assault meliodas team there is any assault meliodas team you are gonna auto lose uh you know you have to use your cards to get ultimate there's not you know there's no hiding from it uh, if you attack Meliodas more than twice you are in very very high danger of being destroyed so uh, yeah Liz LV is not going to be too great in the upcoming meta uh, the Festival King team all auto loses to this because they have to attack you uh, the full Archangel team kind of auto loses as well because they have to attack you the only teams that really stand a chance on global against Assault Meliodas is going to be alt rush teams, right? And if you have Green Derriere, they cannot alt rush you without attacking you first. So, uh, you know, it's going to be here. Uh, it's going to be very tough. The worst thing is the strongest counter we have to Assault Meliodas right now on global, which is going to be Sario, because uh, he is green and Sario is red. If you have Red Melascula, it's like. What, what can Sario even do? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, Sario can't really do much. Uh, it's very unlikely that he'll kill Melascula and Assault Meliodas turn one unless he pulls out, um, you know, unless somehow on the first turn he gets like rank three AoE and then a second uh, rank three AoE. It's just not gonna happen, uh, in my opinion, of course, especially if you have Zeldris and Sub. If you have Zeldris and Sub, your Melascula will be able to tank because uh, you know, three commandments, 18% buff to stats, uh, you'll be fine, in my opinion. But yeah, honestly, with Assault Meliodas, it's like you have a, it's like you have a puzzle, right? And then you have the main piece of the puzzle, which is uh, Assault Meliodas, and then you have all these tiny little bits, puzzle pieces that are commandments and demons, and then you just gotta like put them together and see uh, what you can come up with. Uh, like I said, it's a very, very free-to-play friendly team. Like, look, if if we just move up the units who are uh, you know, summonable, like, Droll is summonable, uh, Red Esther Rosa is summonable, this, uh, Melascular is summonable, Derriere is summonable, Glocks summonable, like, most of the units who are summonable aren't even that good with Assault Meliodas, all of the good ones are, uh, you know, commandments, but, um, yeah, anyway, guys, that will be, uh, that will be it for this, uh, uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you are new, turn on that notification bell. I'll see you guys later on today for another video. Take care. Special thank you to the channel members for supporting this channel. Someone, Sunny D, Munchki, Panic, Panic AMN, J Bentley, Hedito X, 40A, Link 7DS, Odi, Nitin Kumar, Shiro, Kami Free, It's Costi, JP Killer 115, A Vamos, Scumbag Scott, Sip, Aldrich, Henry Cow, Unforgiven,
John Foltz and Markovic.